of the Civil Rights Game, tonight we have six generations who represent the importance and legacy of civil rights in baseball over the years. First, a pitcher who played in the Negro Leagues for the Birmingham Black Barons. Give a warm welcome to Ernie Westfield. Next, we welcome another former Negro Leaguer, a White Sox legend, and the first Chicago professional athlete of color in Chicago. Give a warm welcome to the Cuban Comet, Minnie Minoso. Now, please welcome the son of the first black American League player who was a seven-time All-Star. Let's hear it for Larry Doby Jr. She's the daughter of the man who broke baseball's color barrier. Please welcome Sharon Robinson. Also with us this evening is a member of the Chicago White Sox Amateur City Elite Team, Jamal Martin. And now to throw out a ceremonial first pitch to Harold Baines, let's give a warm welcome to a participant in Major League Baseball's Reviving Baseball in Inner Cities program, Joseph Debra. Six generations, I'll tell you one thing. And I was just looking at Bo Jackson and Willie Horton, two friends of ours out on the field there. Two great guys and two of the strongest men to ever play the game of baseball. Well, it's hard to believe looking at Willie Horton, how fearsome he was when I had to face him 60 feet, six inches away at home plate. And it's a wonderful, very stirring ceremony. It's nice to see Minnie Minoso back out there doing what he's done for so many years representing the game of baseball and the Chicago White Sox. There's a look at Minnie. And Sharon Robinson out there. The daughter of the man who broke the color barrier Jackie Robinson.